everyone, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for April the 19th. As we all know, the LA Kings even up their series with the Canucks with a 3-2 overtime win on Saturday night. Now the series shifts to LA for games 3 and 4 on Monday and Wednesday nights. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch Saturday night's game because I was in prison doing some ministry. Today, CCC is going to focus on mistakes. Locking your keys in your car, especially while the engine is running, now that's a mistake. Not having health insurance, especially if something goes wrong, is a mistake. Cheating on your spouse when you're the most recognized sports figure in the world is a big mistake. And answering the question, does this outfit make me look fat? With anything but a resounding, of course not dear, you look fine, is a resounding mistake. Turning to hockey, you often hear coaches and players say that hockey can be a game of mistakes and whatever team makes the least number of mistakes usually wins. Well that was very evident in Saturday night's game. The Canucks gave the Kings six power play chances including a run of three straight minors spanning the end of the first period then the beginning of the second period leading to LA's first goal and a huge change in momentum. Now that's a mistake. Sammy Salo blew a tire in the offensive zone, giving LA a 3-on-1. Now he's played very well this year, but especially in the playoffs, that's a huge mistake. Getting caught with too many men on the ice in overtime, even if Kevin Bieksa was bleeding from the face after almost having his eye taken out by a skate, well that's still a mistake, one that cost him the game. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for our boys. This has been, and will be, a tightly contested series, so a split really shouldn't surprise anyone. In fact, all eight NHL playoff series have started off with a split. But the Canucks will be facing a frenzied crowd in LA, a city that hasn't seen a home playoff game in eight years. Our boys will have to keep it simple and play to their strengths. And hopefully, that will translate into more Kings mistakes and less mistakes by the Canucks. God bless and go Canucks go.